Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a chat agent on Insito platform and how it can be deployed on website. Now, to create a chat agent, it has three building blocks. The first is to your knowledge base, second is your assistant and third is a widget. Here, I will take you through each step in detail so you can seamlessly create and empower your AI chat agents. Now to create your AI agents, let's go into the platform first. Now, every chat agent is powered by your knowledge base. Here is the steps to create your data source. We go into the AI agent section and click on add a data source. Then select the data source type from the dropdown. Inside our platform supports four different types of data sources, PDF, HTTP, text blob, and CSVs. You can click on PDF, add single or multiple PDFs here. If you want to crawl a website, you can add the CDURL of the website and the maximum number of pages to be crawled. You can include the URLs apart from the website and it can also be crawled along with it. If you have any specific URLs that you need to exclude, you can add them here and click on submit. If you have a blob of text that you want to add into the data source, then you can use this option. And if you have a CSV file, that contains one column with text and another column with images, then you can use this option by drag dropping your CSV here or browsing through your device. In our case, we are going to start with a PDF data source. I'm going to give it a name as test data file and description as a test. So you can name it anything. I will browse and add a random PDF data file and I will click on submit. Once I click on submit, a data source will be created here like this. It will show as indexing. Now it means the data is being crawled from the PDF and it's being ready for use. Right now it is showing as indexing. If I refresh it, it is showing as ready to use with the data source file as one and 647 word count. Now my first step to create a data source is ready. Now we move to the next step that is to create an assistant. We go into the assistant section and click on add an assistant. Here we will select the assistant type as simple assistant, giving it a name as let's say test and description for internal purpose as test. Now there are two options that I can enable on the chatbot. First one is to hide the data sources if I don't want to show the link of the data source in my generated response by the chatbot. And second one is to allow her human handover when the user doesn't wants to chat with an AI and wants to connect with a live agent. So for our purpose, we are going to enable both these options. Now the other option is to select the LLM model. We have four different models that you can select for creating the chatbot. Right now I'm going to select GPT-4 or mini. Another option is to enable voice on the chatbot. So apart from Typing in their queries, if a user wants to speak with the chatbot via their voice, you can enable this option and add up to four languages. I am going to add, let's say, Spanish in this, and then I'm going to keep only two languages and then select the voices for these languages in which the chatbot will respond. You can create your own voice and then use that as a response from the chatbot to the user. Then the last option is to show images. If you want, to show the images from the data sources that you have added along with the responses, you can enable this option. And this is the area for the prompt section. So if you have any specific instructions that you want to add in the prompt area, you can give it to the chatbot and it will try to follow all those instructions. The prompt instructions have to be to the point and precise. We will discuss about more on the prompts later on. Right now, I'm going to create a simple assistant. Once I have configured everything in this, I'm going to click on save and exit. Once I have done that, a test agent is created here. Now I have to connect my data sources with the assistant. For that, there is an icon in the operations that is view data sources. Once I click on this, it will show the list of data sources that I have added in the data source section. For our use case, I'm going to connect it with the test agent. Once I click on this checkbox, it will show it as the assistant is linked with the data source. I will close this box and my step two is complete. Now we move to the third step that is to create a widget in the widget section. 
Once we are here, click on add a widget and give it a name as test. Now select the assistant that we created in the previous step that is the test stage. Now give it a description as any thing that you want. Now select the widget type. I want to deploy it as a chatbot on my website. So I will select the chat widget and submit. Once I click on submit, a test widget is created here. As you can see, now if I want the code to deploy it on the website, I will just click on this option that is get code and QR. Now here it will show it as there will be two options that is either you can deploy it as an iframe widget or a chat widget. I want to deploy it as a chat widget. I will be selecting this option, copying this code and paste it in the respective area on my website and the chatbot will be deployed like this. Now before deploying, if you want to test the chatbot on how it's responding to the customer's query, what you can do is you can go into the playground section, select the widget type and before deploying, you can test the chatbot in this area. Once you are satisfied, the responses have been accurate. You can use the code to deploy it on the website. Then there is another option in the widgets where you can use it to customize your chat agents. You can click on this option and change the different colors that are used in the chatbot. You can change the display name, the conversation avatars, as well as the bot avatars. There are different options to remove the branding, to auto open the widget when the website is opened. If you want to hide the icebreakers, you want to show the reset button. And if you want to add any action buttons where user wants to click on them and take it to a different page. So you can add up to three action buttons and different icebreakers can be added. Once you have customized your widget, you can just simply click on update and the data is uploaded and you can be back. Now, our chatbot is ready to be used. Thanks for watching this video.